Hey everyone, Master Builder 164 here, and today I just want to do a little quick review of Jurassic World Battle at Big Rock. And all I have to say, that was awesome! I mean, seriously! It, it, I, I didn't expect it to be dark, both literally and figuratively. Because, like, <laughs> first of all, I'm just gonna go full on spoilers. If you haven't seen it, Go watch it. It's on YouTube right now. I'll put a link in the comments or in the description or whatever. <laughs> like I've already seen this. I've seen this short film um, for like what? How many times? About five times now. And I just want to watch it more and more and more and more. Like I just can't stop watching it. It's, it's just so good. And 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 it's just like it's but in the credits. Oh my god, the credits. I'm not spoiling that, that's for sure. I want all of you who have not seen Battle of Big Rock, go see that. Especially for the freaking credits. Those credits just have me more hyped for Jurassic World 3 than I already was after Fallen Kingdom. Which I still think is a good film. Anyway... The movie, the, the shorts about a, a family on a camping trip, but gets unfortunately interrupted by uh, an Azutoceratops and her baby, and an Allosaurus that decided to say, "Hey, look, food." So yeah, this is, and apparently this is the first interaction humans like had with dinosaurs, like well, like one on one. There has been sightings, there has been reports of other dinosaurs in North America, but this is like. The first, like, interactment, so, uh, interactant. Ah, I cannot speak today. I'm just like, oh, I'm so happy and excited. This is, like, the first experience someone had one-on-one -on -one with a dinosaur. One year later, after the events of Fallen Kingdom, after the the death of Nublar, the fall of Lockwood, and blah, blah, blah. It, and, matter of fact, this, this, this takes place 20 miles away from the Lockwood Manor. Which, I'm just gonna say, I hope we see the Lockwood Manor one more time, but all, like, abandoned and everything in the beginning of uh, Jurassic World 3, and we just see the, 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 the deteriorating body of the Indoraptor, just, like, like, all with its flesh just falling off, you can see its bones now, like, ooh, it'll be spooky and cool. Uh, and let me just, and, oh, anyway, I'm just getting off topic, I'm trying to stay in focus here, because... I tend to get off topic a lot. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, let's just say the um don't expect this battle is actually not between the Allosaurus and the Nasutoceratops. No, 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 no. The battle is between the Allosaurus and the family, which may make sense. It's, it makes sense <laughs> because you gotta protect your your loved ones against a big carnivorous Jurassic apex predator. And I'm, I actually thought they were going to kill off a kid. Like, that kid, like, almost died. And I will have my nitpick. I kind of wish they didn't leave it with the little girl shooting at the Allosaurus, like, near its eye. I wish it ended it as the Allosaurus was roaring at the family after it just crushed the van and everything. I wish it just ended there as an open note. Like, did they die or did they live? And like I, I mean, I didn't mind about the girl shooting it with the crossbow, because it was foreshadowed when um she said, "Oh, my uncle, um, un my uncle, let me shoot the crossbow." So I think she does have a bit of an experience. So I'll give credit to that. Uh, what else? What else? Um, I really th that's literally the only nitpick I have. Like that's probably my only nitpick and. I do wish we may have seen more fighting against the Allosaurus and the Zootoceratops, but hey, this was filmed in three days and with ten million dollars, and I, I know that sounds a lot, but movie-wise, it ain't. So, anyway, if you have not seen Jurassic World Battle of Big Rock, go see it, please watch it. Especially if you're just digging towards for the lore and you see what would happen, what what can we expect for Jurassic World 3? And I just have to say, Emily, um, you've earned my trust as the writer for Jurassic World 3. And I'm saying that because let's just say Pacific Rim Uprising, a movie that she wrote, 
I had a mixed feelings about that, and I love Pacific, the first Pacific Rim, but Pacific Rim Uprising was a mixed bag for me. So, with this, you've earned my trust. So, I, we trust in, I trust in you, I trust in Colin Trevero, to send, to, to send the franchise, to end the franchise with a high note. Because, um, this franchise means a lot to me, and I'll do a video of that later on. But anyway, there's some, uh, my thought, my final thoughts on Jurassic World Battle Big Rock, 9.5 9 out of 10. Go watch it. Please go watch it. I'll have it in the description or in the comments down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and look forward soon to my Mattel John Hammond toy review. And I'll see you guys and gals later. Bye-bye.